Hello there everyone, this is Ignite with Fire and welcome back to a brand new unboxing video. So if you remember back to the birthday special, I did indeed show you guys that I got a Skyrim Superchargers Racing for the Nintendo Wii Starter Pack um, as part of a package that I bought from CEX. Now my parents um, was basically keeping this package away from me until my birthday so my birthday could seem a lot, whole lot more special and trust me, this uh, item definitely did uh, do that. And um... So basically I'm going to get right into this uh, item right here, so I uh, just thought I'd give you a little bit of background, basically just ordered it from CEX, and I've finally got it now for my birthday and I am able to fully unbox it for you guys. Now you might have noticed that this uh, pack has already been unboxed, but that's because I did buy it pre-owned, because CEX always ship things out pre-owned, but it's still nice that um, it came in the box because I do like keeping these uh, starter pack boxes because they look very nice indeed. Without further ado, let's get right into it here, it's going to make everything a whole bunch easier okay there's a box I actually come to think of it I never even uh, showed it off so right there we have the Skyner Superchargers racing with um, the Bowser Amiibo appearance obviously that's very very nice and the logo of course and then we have the top obviously with the Superchargers racing logo and the Nintendo Wii um, logo right there and then on the back we basically just got a bunch of different things so first of all we got um a supercharger combination so bowser and clown cruiser makes ultimate awesome combination right here and then we also got all the different terrains so we have of course you know sea sky and land and all that fun stuff along with some extra superchargers along the bottom as well and then there's also the contents up here which consists of the portal for skylanders for vehicles and uh, then this one right here is basically to show that it's both an amiibo and a Skylander, and of course some screenshots to go alongside with that. And finally for Magical 123, for 123 we've all became accustomed to, be way we're going to set that one to one side here, and we're going to take a look at the plastic, and of course the game was um, already loose, so there's a game looking awesome. Get to that in a second here. So first things first, let's uh, take this portal out right here. I got another one of these portals, yeah. Not like I, not like I have none of these things already. Battle cast a uh, thing, basically to tell you about the free download, and then there's the, uh, of course, must have information for if you're confused on how to set things up and stuff. And then there's a portal, you know, basic portal and all. So basically, um, if your portals in these games are weird, yeah, there's your electronic uh, manual. Um, basically, uh, the. PS3, uh, the PlayStation ones, they work for both the PlayStation consoles and for Nintendo consoles. And the Xbox uh, portals, however, for Xbox portals only work for the Xbox versions. So it is strange like that. I don't know why the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One need a different portal. But hey, whatever, right? Be way, first things first, the um, main show itself, Hammer Slam, Bowser, oh, man, he looks glorious. And plus, I love the detail on his back right now. It does have a small, tiny uh, paint and chip error, but it's so minute you cannot see it from a distance. Definitely not. Man, he looks so awesome. Got to admit that eye on him isn't so great. That one right there, it's kind of like his pupil is very, very strange, very uh, weirdly painted on. But hey, this pupil is exactly the same as my cousin's Hammerstone Bowser, so I think that's meant to be like that. Either way, the base is how you swap it from Amiibo to Skylander. So currently it's on Amiibo, as you can see right there. And then you can simply switch it to Skylanders for that. And by the way, if you have it on Amiibo, uh, and then you try and place it in Skylanders, that's why your Skylander isn't working. So if this guy isn't working, you just simply need to flip it uh, to the Skylander side. And then let's move on to Super Shot Still Phil, my third Super, Super Shot Still Phil, actually. I now own three of these, if uh, this one wants to come out, that is. Yes, this one does not seem to want to come out, not at all. Well, then again, I don't know why I'm being too careful about it. You know, honestly, it don't matter too much if it breaks. Wow, this one's really, uh, like, flexible for some reason. Okay, I'll get it eventually, guys. There we go, finally got it. So there's Super Shot Stealth Elf. Oh man, this one's very flexible, not not a decent one at all. But uh, hey, I got another Super Shot Stealth Elf, a much better Stealth Elf, in fact. Here they are, these are my other two uh, Stealth Elves right here. So this is the good one, as you can see this one ain't as flimsy as this one right here. And then of course we have uh, the dark 
uh, variant for her right now. So we're going to put those to one side. And this one, um, it depends. If you guys want this for a contest, then I'll happily do it as part of a contest. But until, um, if you guys don't, then I'm probably just going to hold on to it to do some sort of eBay um, s s uh, bundle at some point. Because I'm sure, hopefully, if I do an eBay bundle, I'll be able to make a bunch of money back. With all that's done, let's get into the last piece here, which is for Clown Cruiser. Awesome, guys. Absolutely, positively awesome. Look at this thing. And as you can see by the bottom, uh, despite the fact that uh, Hammer Slam Bowser is a Fire Skyliner, as shown on the base right here, the Clown Cruiser is actually an air element vehicle. So, yeah, nice attention to detail with that right there. So, yeah, I love that. So here are the characters. I don't actually have a Dark Hammer Slam Bowser or Dark uh, Clown Cruiser to actually compare those guys for you, so I do apologize about that. But I will do another quick comparison with Super Shot Stealth Off and Dark Super Shot Stealth Off. Personally, I, I prefer Dark Super Shot Stealth Off because she adds so much detail into it. So much better than Dark Ninja Stealth Off. I mean, like, look at that. So yeah, awesome to say the least. And then uh, we're going to go, oops, sorry about that, the camera. Um, now we're going to go back to the game, as I told you guys before. So we're going to take this stick off right here. That's basically just the classic good old CEX sticker, if it wants to come off, that is. Luckily, these ones peel off quite nicely. It's the uh, price tags that you need to worry about with these ones. Well, right when I say that as well, it appears uh, that it doesn't want to uh, come off nicely, this one. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, we'll get it eventually. There we are, there it is, a box in all of its glory. We have a uh, Hammer Slam Bowser with, of course, his Clown Cruiser right there. And then, of course, we have uh, Bone Bash Old Roll and her Tomb Buggy. And finally, we have, of course, Lava Lance Raptor on his Burn Psycho Awesome. And then the game is right there. No manual, unfortunately, but I think all what the manual had was the uh, Netflix show and uh, an ad for the Creator app. Either way, this looks awesome. You can actually see a reflection of the camera on the disc right there. Yeah, nice little illusion for you there, guys. And, uh, yeah, so it looks very good in terms of condition. So that right there is the disc. So, awesome, that right there is the end of the start of back unboxing for Sky and the Superchargers Racing. There's the uh, box once again, so this is the shot I'm going to end off on, guys. And so that's the first of the birthday unboxings, and I will uh, be back at you with the next one, which is going to be uh, none other than Polar Whirlwind. But um, until that video, um, I'll be... Um, so until then, until that video, peace. Hey guys, this is Ignab Fire, and welcome to the debut episode of none other than my Skylander Superchargers racing let's play for Nintendo Wii, obviously, as you can tell from uh, my little intro right there. By the way, as you can see, the intro for the game is a glorious indeed, but by the way, let's get into it without further ado. So as for this uh, let's play, it is in fact going to be 100%, uh, as all the other let's plays on my channel have been uh, before. But um, a quick disclaimer for you guys is the fact that I haven't actually ever played this game before, so we're going through this blind, um, so we can experience it for the first time together, hopefully. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a nice fresh take on the franchise, because um, uh, one thing I do know about this game is that it's all racing, and it has nothing to do with any of the like online sections um that are within the console version you know so it's uh, ditches for kind of like a more traditional skylar's gameplay for uh, racing elements instead and uh, hopefully won't get too mad by this but if you guys uh, do see me like uh, kind of complaining about the game unfairly then definitely be sure to point that out because that's not fair of me to say because um I should rate the game on how good the game is. I shouldn't just say the game is bad just because it's a different genre to uh, what all the other games in the franchise are like. So let's just hope that the game itself is good. Because like I said, as long as the game is good, I don't care that it's all racing or anything like that. Oh, and by the way, uh, the free new game files uh, definitely does prove to you guys that I haven't played this game uh, before now. So let's get into it. This uh, Let's Play is going to be daily. But um, apart from that, uh, a cutscene is about to load in, I believe. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy it. And it turns out, I believe correctly. Hello, Skylands. I, Pandergast the Magnificent, have created the most incredibly amazing racing spectacle Skylands has ever seen. And it's starting right now. A veritable who's who of racing have come from all corners of Skylands to compete for a coveted place on the championship podium. With the first place winner going home with the grand prize... The snow globe of destiny. You tell me I'm going to be doing all this racing for a flipping snow globe. One wish. 
Okay, I take it back. That is pretty impressive. Not as impressive as our drivers. These Skylanders are a new breed, born for speed. I give you the Superchargers. These Skylanders are the fastest of the fast, the swiftest of the swift. And now. I'm sure you're asking yourselves, oh, but Mr. Pandergast, what racing circuit could possibly showcase a splendiferous event of such epic proportions? Let me introduce you to... Racelandia! Racelandia was created... That's a terrible name. But then again, it's better than uh, all the names I could come up with. All of the heart-pumping racing action you can handle. Actual racing going The drivers and their vehicles are in top condition, so buckle up. Because this ride is about to get bumpy. Let's race! Awesome, but either way, you guys probably saw some of the ancient elementals from Sky Sport Force right now, so definitely am um, indeed glad to see those guys referenced. But either way, as you can see from those tips right there, it seems like we need to get first place to get all of the stars in this game, and obviously that would uh, cloud count as 100%. So basically, what I'm saying here is that's 100% everything we're obviously going to need to get first place, which is what I'm most certainly aiming for. So hopefully, we can achieve that without further ado. But either way, um, it seems like for Panda Castle uh, Sky Ride is our first race, so uh, let's get into so we're going to play, play, be playing on hard difficulty because, um, you know, where's the fun and playing in easy and all that? And besides, I'm not bad at racing games. In fact, I've always been very good at racing games ever since I've been playing Mario Kart since a young age, I suppose. And hey, how much more different can this be to Mario Kart? So I'm sure um, the hard won't be too difficult for us. Okay, so we need to place a Skylander on the uh, Portal of Power. Uh, but first, how about a vehicle? Is it going to accept that? Or just a scanner? Nope, just a scanner, apparently. So, uh, before we bring in the vehicle, let's obviously bring in Hammer Slam Bowser, one of the starter pack characters for this game. In fact, yeah, I love the uh, Nintendo music right there. It definitely symbolizes uh, that he is indeed a Nintendo mascot. And so we are indeed going to go with this guy right here. And now we're going to place a Sky Vehicle on the Portal of Power. And that goes to the Clown Cruiser, which is obviously Hammer Slam's Bowser vehicle, which is also part of the Start Pack. Clown Cruiser. So let's get rocking and rolling with this bad boy, all right? As you can tell, it was supercharged thanks to the fact that uh, Bowser and, uh, well, I should say Hammerslam Bowser and uh, the Clown and Cruiser are obviously a, a supercharger match. And basically, every vehicle and supercharger have a matchup, and when you match, uh, when you take a supercharger and match it up with this vehicle, both your vehicle and the Skyliner get a huge supercharged boost. That's uh, pretty much where the name Superchargers comes from. And he added in the additional racing just to make sure the fans did know that this was just, a deferred, was focusing on just a racing aspects but either way let's get into what i believe we need to keep our boost in the green zone oh yeah nice we did that successfully so that's good to see so yeah cool good start indeed okay what are our attacks buttons oh that's a barrel roll i officially found a barrel roll oh and i found a boost as well b is a boost button apparently but I'd, i'm going to assume that we can't boost too much because that's probably going to result in something like a burnout no doubt and here are our magic items. So right here we have a healing elixir. Um, when our health is reduced to zero, I'm just going to assume that we spin out kind of like you would in the um, console racing, I guess. It's pretty much just an expansion to all the console racing near enough. But what I do like about this is that um, this track isn't actually available in the console version. So clearly this game has exclusive tracks. Okay, I'm just wondering, is there a boost button? Okay, what's Z? Oh, Z is our attack. That's what Z is. Oh, boy, we've got people coming at us at all angles. But, oh, boy, we got our first place. This is exciting. So, yep, this is definitely, um, let's put it like this, inspired by Mario Kart. Oh, it's over here, I wonder. Oh, not cool, bruh. Not cool at all. Oh, yeah, and that bottom one is our energy. So, as long as we have energy, we can attack. Nice, we burned out um, Lava Island Structure right now. So yeah, any Skyliner can pilot any vehicle, which is awesome to see. I have no idea who's behind us, though. And whoever is, I don't appreciate it, dude. Hit me in the back like that. But yeah, now I'm actually starting to get used to the controls, so that's good. 
what I see here. Here's this guy iron shield. This basically just uh, acts as a shield. You never would have guessed that. But anyway, I was just saying before, the bottom thing right there is our energy. We can attack as long as we have that energy. But once it's drained, we have to wait for it to refill itself. That's what the sky diamond does, however. I have no idea what it does, purely because it's uh, not in the um, console version, I believe. Oh, wait, no, I see. Those pods refill our energy. So uh, uh, by my assumptions, oh, darn. I've, 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 I've uh, failed miserably right now. But anyway, by my assumptions, because that, um, like, um, Sky Diamond, like, turned all of the, um, energy pods into, um, diamonds instead, I'm going to assume that the pods refilled your energy more than what they usually would have, so kind of like a extra bonus thing. But as you can see, our energy is quite low right now, but now that we grab the energy pods, our uh, energy has been uh, very much replenished, which is good to see, I suppose. Oh, and that's what happens when all your health feels reduced. You do indeed spin out, kind of like being hit by a virtual Mario Kart, just a whole lot more forgiving, because we all know how much um, a red shell can ruin your race. Or even worse, perhaps a blue shell, which I'm pretty sure there's a blue shell-like item in this game. Uh, known as the Tiki Speaky, which um, I actually wouldn't say it's um, a blue shell. I'd probably say it's more along the lines of uh, being similar to the lightning, as in uh, because it goes to all the players in front of you and uh, takes out a bunch of their health, pretty much. And then, of course, you know, once your health is reduced, it, of course, causes you to spin out. So that means that the Tiki Speaky will, of course, um, inevitably slow you down. So that's why I say it's a bit like the... Um, Lightning Bolt, same with that um, Time Twister actually, the Time Twister slows down all of the opponents in front of you so you can also say that's kind of like Lightning from Mario Kart. But man, this is annoying me right now, I've, uh, I've been uh, hitting too many things right now and hitting stuff is not good, yo. See, uh, except from if it's boots pass of course. So yeah, well, one thing I am wondering is that what happens if we hold in this boost button for too long. It just seems to be kind of lose control, but it doesn't seem you can hold it. it. It doesn't seem you do burn out, actually, which is awesome, actually. Definitely going to be good for speed and all. Nice. I'm kind of surprised that you can boost, um, like, infinitely without having any sort of, um, like, burnout. Like, that's a shame. It kind of makes the game a bit too easy, even though we are playing in hard. Um, so that was a shame to see, but overall, um, that was fun, you know. Um... It was a well-designed track. I definitely am going to give that. Uh, give it that. Oh, nice. We got our glorious three stars and all. And you still earn experience from this game, so I'm going to assume that leveling up your characters level up their stats instead of actually giving them um, any sort of, like, uh, extra leveling like uh, traditional Skyrim games would. And I was indeed right by that. We got a uh, boost to our acceleration stat. And I'm going to assume that's the same with the vehicles as well. So awesome. Our clan cruisers are ranked up to level three, which means we got a top speed boost. But yeah, it's a shame that that boost does last infinitely and doesn't give you any sort of punishment for holding it in to do too long. Like I said, it does make the game too easy. But whatever, we're just going to continue. And um... But I'm pretty sure that later on, this, uh, the computers are also going to do that boost as well. So that's going to make things a whole lot more tougher for us. But either way, it seems like we're heading this choppy mountain, which is, of course, a race. Oh, darn, I accidentally pressed medium. I did not mean to press medium, guys. It's because I hit the nunchuck twice, but obviously um, the game was kind of a lag, so it only uh, classed me as hit it once. So, yeah, my bad. And also, we're going to X out here and then uh, go back into the hard mode. Once, of course, I wants to finish loading, that is, which, uh, by the looks of it, it doesn't. Oh, there we go, finally. So, yeah, where's the, uh, where's the back button? Back button, where are you? It doesn't seem to want to let me go back. Yes, I know the vehicle's not supported for this event, and uh, guess what? I do not really care. Oh, yeah, and in this game, you can actually borrow vehicles um, if you don't own them. But, of course, as you can probably guess, the... Um... <laughs> yeah, basically, just like uh, Panagas said, it's not a very impressive vehicle whatsoever for ones that you borrow. Of course, they do actually own um, land vehicles and stuff like that. Oh, there we go. Now I can quit, finally. But yeah, um, it's not particularly uh, a good vehicle, but it does get you around the track at least. So at least you can still play the game with it. It's just a shame that it sucks so much. So, it rec so it's definitely recommended that you go out and buy land vehicles for yourself. So let's get right into this here, and this time let's be sure to actually hit the hard mode. There we go, that's much better, isn't it? 
By the way, we're going to continue with Hammerslam Bowser. Hammerslam Bowser is going to be Skylander of the episode, you could even go as far to say. But don't worry, I'll bring in some more, episodes, uh, some more Skylanders uh, in later episodes, obviously, because uh, I think I mentioned this before, but if I didn't, I'll mention it now, and that's what matters, I suppose. Um, this uh, series is going to be daily. St so I do apologize if I never said that before. Um, and if I did say it before and I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry for the huge fail on my behalf, but... Um, of course, if I haven't said it before and I just said it, then of course that's awesome. So now you guys know. But either way, I suppose it's a win-win situation because I'm just reinforcing what I said earlier. And I'm also like, uh, if I haven't said it already, I'm making sure that I have said it. So double win on my behalf, I suppose. But either way, um, let's get going, shall we, with uh, none of it? And then Hot Streak. Now, you don't actually get this vehicle in the starter pack for the Wii version, but you do get it in the starter pack for um, the Xbox uh, the Xbox and PlayStation con uh, starter pack console uh, games. Of course, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, that's just how um, all of that works, uh, obviously. And in all fairness, I do prefer the Nintendo Starter Packs because, of course, they have Hamslam, Bowser, and Donkey, uh, Toby Charles, Donkey Kong in them, which are really, really awesome characters, both in and out of the Skylanders franchise, so it's definitely, you know, good to have them in those um, editions indeed. But with that being said, for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, um, not, well, not necessarily PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, just for PlayStation and uh, Xbox versions in general, of course, still do have a pretty good Starter Pack because, of course, Bitfire is still an awesome character alongside the Hot Streak, and the console version for the games are still incredibly um, awesome even on uh, the ps3 uh, xbox 360 xbox one on ps4 in fact the ps4 is probably the best version of the uh, game uh, because of course it has the best graphics the best loading screens and stuff like that but man i'm incredibly feeling it so far the drifting is really weird it would seem like it's very um it's very outside type drifting like if you've uh, played mario kart this is basically just like the outside uh, drifting bikes which i hate so you know that's probably why i'm there uh, Feeling right now because I'm used to using for inside the drifting bikes in Mario Kart. Oh boy, that was close right there. Yeah, you can actually jump in this game using C, so that's good. Oh, and then there's uh, some food right there, which obviously helps to heal you up. Oh, there was a shortcut right there, which I missed. That's a shame. But hey, what do you guys expect? You can't expect me to find every single shortcut first time around. And also, one thing I'm going to learn is that it's just going to have racing mode or is it going to have alternate modes? I'm going to assume so because most racing games that are focused just on racing uh, tend to have different modes. So hopefully this game did go the extra mile to give us extra modes. And if it d does, um, I'll be very happy with that indeed. But don't spoil anything probably for me, uh, guys. Oh, nice. we got some cake and all that. But anyway, I... Uh, I predict that in the end, Panagas is going, to, uh, is going to betray us in some sort of way, and so we're going to need to race him at the very end. I can totally see that coming. It's something that he'll totally do as well. So one thing I don't like about this game is that it definitely made it more useless for you to go out and buy other figures, because of course, you know, the figures don't actually do anything besides the vehicles. Because all other characters do is give you different characters to drive after, so, you know, it's definitely a huge shame that you know your, your, all of your characters are no longer useful and all okay it's just where the shortcut was before yes it was but that doesn't mean i didn't fail at it miserably like i did just there oh and there's a turbocharged donkey kong speaking of the devil how dare you donkey kong how dare you dare you dare you oh and don we even missed the ice and box and all okay we're gonna have our uh, we're gonna exact our attention donkey kong now or maybe not Okay, it's fine for the final lap. Let's pick up a pace here. We're in sixth place. That's not good. The only place I like in racing games is first place. But actually, speaking uh, before I spoke of, of course, inside and outside drifting bikes, Mario Kart Wii. So maybe we should uh, make topic of the day about Mario Kart Wii. So Mario Kart Wii introduced bikes and trick into the franchise. Tricken was, of course, a good um, addition. And bikes was a good addition as well. The only problem with them was that they were so overpowering in comparison to the carts and all. But what they did with Mario Kart 8 is that they um, like balance for carts and bikes now because um, now they have um, now you can't wheelie as bikes. So that's what made bikes so overpowered before because you could wheelie and gain a a, a, temp a, a a speed boost from that, which made bikes very overpowered indeed. But now, of course, bikes are balanced and uh, they're so much better indeed. And another thing is that inside drifting bikes had a huge advantage over anything else because, of course, they could drift to the inside. And so that's why um, I've always liked inside drifting bikes in Mario Kart. I've never liked any other type of bike, I suppose. Oh, boy. 
Ah, oh, looks like uh, I, uh, I screwed up my first place. Trust me, if I was playing Mario Kart right now, we would have got first place. <laughs> but either way, uh, what do you expect? It was my first time uh, playing the game. So we're not, uh, we're not about uh, giving up life. We're obviously going to retry, but I've way back to Mario Kart, my Mario Kart Wii story. So, um... Anyway, we got the Nintendo Wii in 2008, I believe it was, for Christmas. And, um, of course, one of the games we got was Mario Kart Wii for it. And, of course, um, I started playing it, and it turns out that game is awesome. I love that one. Like, uh, since then, it's been hard for me to put it down. It's such a shame that you can't play it online on it or with it anymore. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and retry it on hard, obviously. So yeah, as a shame you don't get one online. I used to play it online all the time. But the thing was, was that when it was online, I was a very big noob of the game. I used to play on automatic with carts. You can probably guess that I got really bad placements. <laughs> like seriously, um, getting first place in Mario Kart Wii online to me was like... Um, it was basically the best thing in the world, honestly. It was a miracle. By the way, let's continue with Hammerslam Battles right here. Hopefully it won't fail me for a second time. Even though third place isn't a failure, it's just not the place that we want to remain in, obviously. So yeah, let's go ahead and go with Hot Streak. Hopefully now I know if controls hold up better and for track or better, hopefully now I can uh, do better at it. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that, right? <laughs> and it will also be sure, be sure to be doing that. So yeah, Mario Kart Wii, awesome game. Loved it ever since I got it. When I first got it, I obviously sucked at it. But now I can assure you guys I'm much better at it. In fact, I'd even go as far as to consider myself Mario Kart Wii um, Pro. I can do glitches mid-race. And I can even do some of them without stopping. I'm just that awesome. Oh, and my um, OP combination. You guys guessed it. Funky Kong and uh, Flame Runner. Man, that combination is overpowered. Which actually reminds me of a bunch of like... Um, what, what the game was like uh, online because basically Mario Kart Wii Online uh, all, all what you would ever go against was uh, Funky Kongs and uh, Daisies you wouldn't find any other characters because they were like the OP combinations like one time I went in a room there was 11 of us there was 9 Funky Kongs a Daisy and then there was me playing as King Boo because that's the thing with Mario Kart Wii I was always playing as either King Boo or Yoshi because those are my favourite characters sometimes I play as Diddy Kong as well because I really like Diddy Kong but I've way thing with um, Yoshi and of course um, uh, King Boo is that they are very cool looking characters but in terms of the game their stats weren't that great. Like they didn't, because uh, Mario Kart Wii characters actually affect stats more than you'd expect and, uh, and Yoshi and um, King Boo, well they didn't have bad stats mind you, they didn't have anything like truly outstanding about them which made that they, they weren't really good for OP combinations I suppose. Which also gave me a disadvantage, you could say. Okay, let's be grabbing that right here. We're currently in first place, so I aim to keep that. So yeah, now we're doing awesome. So now if I'm Mario Kart, we talk over. Um, one thing I would talk, want to talk about is um, about my cousins when they first got this game. Uh, so basically what happened is that my aunt bought this game uh, for my cousin on launch day. And so of course on launch day it was very uh, much more expensive. And, um, yeah, that's basically because my cousin loves Skylanders, just like I do. In fact, I, um, I brought out of her because, you know, uh, in terms of our relationship, my, me and my cousin, we have a really, really close relationship. We just love seeing each other a lot, genuinely. Like, it's really, really sweet and awesome uh, relationship, nevertheless. And I did not hit that right there, stupid hitboxes. But, um, anyway, back to my story right here before I was rudely interrupted by stupid hitboxes. But, um, anyway, I, uh, missed that. <laughs> Too much uh, talk about cousins, I suppose. But anyway, um, so my aunt obviously, you know, bought this game at launch for my uh, cousin. And she was annoyed because, of course, she had to pay 60 quid uh, on it at launch. Just to give it to her at Christmas because her, uh, she was thinking that it would be cooler to get it at launch just to, to ensure that she got the game. Even though um, she only wanted, uh, she wasn't going to give it to my cousin uh, until Christmas. And I was like, if you're going to get it at launch, you may as well um, give it to her at launch because, you know, there's no point in spending the extra 30 quid on it just to wait till Christmas. Because at Christmas time, trust me, you'll still be able to get it and it'll be 30 quid cheaper. So, you know, if you're going to spend an extra 30 quid, you may as well give her those extra few months to play it. But anyway, uh, she got it for Christmas, and uh, they found, uh, and to their disappointment, uh, they found out that the game was um, racing only. And so, of course, my aunt went on a rant about um, 
how if they betrayed us uh, with fans for franchise and this is what they do to us and I'm like yeah but it's for we uh, they couldn't um, bring the main version of it for, for we couldn't handle it um and so they did the best they could have done with it because if it weren't this it was nothing and um Peter and um my aunt brought up the um like argument that um she was saying that others were saying oh no wonder why the game sucks is on the way a uh, a finished console and she was like well i can still go on uh i can still go to stores and buy nintendo Wii, so you know it's not like the system has been cancelled and all it's still very much available and um because of that you know we deserve a better product but um oh nice uh, yeah but um anyway um so with that I say, just because you can still buy a console doesn't mean it's um, not discontinued just yet. Because we, um, when this game did come out, was on the verge of being discontinued, I believe. Oh, nice, we've got some great experience for that right there. So now we're going to press the continue button, most obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's how that went. So she basically just went on a rant about how awful the game must be. But um, that's when I told her it doesn't matter what the genre is. As long as the game is good, that's all what matters. And, um... It turns out that from what I've played of it so far, it's good. And when my cousin actually got around to playing it, she said it was good and she did have fun with it. And so that's really what matters, you know. It doesn't matter um, about the genre of the game. All that matters is how good the game is itself. It was just silly how, you know, they paid 60 quid for it at launch and um, for just a plain racing game and didn't even bother giving, it, uh, giving her the actual game at launch and they waited until Christmas, obviously. Which, like I said, if you're going to buy a game at launch, you play it at launch. Don't wait till Christmas to do it, because, you know, you're going to spend extra money getting it at launch. You may as well, like, um, make good use of that money and uh, get some extra few months of uh, playtime in with it. But I've wait I think that's why she was mad more than anything. Uh, 60 quid for a racing game. But, hey, that was her choice to make. She could have waited for a sale. And like I said, I'm going to be fair on this game. I'm going to judge it on the gameplay alone. I'm not going to judge it on the fact that it's a Skylanders game that doesn't have any traditional, like, Skylanders land style gameplay on it. And so, yeah, I'm not quick to um, conclusions like that because I don't like judging people, especially since I don't like it when I'm judged myself. And all oh, of us, like we have two dive bombers. By the way, the graphics for this game are fairly standard for Wii. Um, in terms of Wii, though, it's uh, one of the better looking games because, of course, Wii isn't a um, very powerful console, so it can't have very good graphics as a result. But in terms of what it did manage to do for the game, it's very, very good indeed. And it definitely does look better than the uh, 3DS version because um, I have seen... Uh, one episode of gameplay for 3DS and uh, from what I've seen so far this game is exactly the same as for 3DS Which I have no problems with uh, whatsoever Because I feel like what it did is they knew they had to have a 3DS version and then they tried to port the uh, console version Like uh, the main console version onto the Wii, but the Wii wasn't powerful enough So they just decided to port the 3DS version for the Wii instead and make that the Skylanders game for the Wii of the year Because they didn't just want to get rid of the Wii altogether because the Wii is Skylanders bread and butter You know the Wii version is where the um, Skylanders gets its most money because it relies on casual fans uh, And casual fans are all you know for ones to own the Wii system and all that so yeah, I can definitely see why they didn't want to give up this version. And I can definitely see why it had to be downgraded. But either way, uh, yeah, I have, I have no problems with that whatsoever. But anyway, um, it does, uh, from the gameplay that I saw, it does look better than 3DS, obviously. Uh, the 3DS is very close in power to the Wii. Like, the 3DS is near enough uh, for Wii on the go, pretty much. And then the Switch is the Wii U on the go. Because um, what's funny about the Switch is that the Switch is basically what the Wii U should have been. Because uh, imagine this, a Wii U where you could have taken the gamepad anywhere with you. How good would have that been? That's what it should have done with the Wii U, but it wasn't. Wii U had such great mispotential. And its technology was rushed, really, so I suppose that's one of the main reasons for Wii U's downfall. Okay, die, you stupid dive bomber. Nice, we got him. Take that, splat. And we also got some cake as well, so now we've healed up. Oh, boy, there's a little shortcut in here, but I think I lost more time than what I gained from it, unfortunately. She's my uh, driving skills, or should I even say lack thereof? But yeah, I definitely do like the fact that how this game has a combat system as well. It does add uh, more depth to the gameplay, which I do, do in fact, enjoy. But if you guys can tell, I'm a fan of Nintendo. I've spent pretty much the whole uh, episode talking about it. 
Okay, let's dive under that right now. Nice. Okay, let's try and get first place because obviously that's our target for the three uh, level. Because I won't get three stars otherwise, and three stars is definitely uh, my goal for every single one of these stages because that's, of course, that nice sweet 100%, which is why I always aim for when I play these games. And if it ain't 100%, then uh, it ain't a good percent in my opinion. And this is a test because if you're in a test and you know you got 90%, that's actually really, really good. But hey, if you get 100% on your exams, bloody well done to you. You deserve an award, honestly, you really do. Because you're truly gifted. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and tell me, guys, if you ever got 100% on an exam before without cheating. Keyword here, without cheating. If you cheated, that, that does mean you don't deserve that 100%. I'm sorry. But I hate cheaters, especially when it comes to tests, because I've never cheated on tests in my life. And I don't people, uh, I don't like people who do it, but at the same time, I won't snitch on people who do it, you know. Despite the fact that I don't actually like it happening, I'm not the kind of person who would go around and say, oh, this person's cheating, you know, I, I don't do that, because I'm not cool to other people like that. Or whatever you say, Spitfire. But, um, anyway, so, so have any of you ever got 100% on test without cheating of any, uh, in any way? Uh, me, myself, I got 100% on a geography test once, and it was actually a really, really tough geography test, but I revised for it for hours, and it paid off. I was so happy then. I got highest in the group, Miss, obviously. Uh, it was one person in my group. Um, you guys have actually seen him before on my channel. His name is uh, Farah, and he was, like, the smartest person in the group, but I got more than even him, and that was so good for me because no one ever got hired in Farah and yet I was one who got hired in Farah. It was such an honour honestly. And so 100% on that test definitely a glorious time indeed. But since then I've never got 100% on tests except for a few easy ones but I don't count those because you know those were easy. And then there was one where my music teacher literally gave us all of the answers before we even began the test and it was like why would you walk us through the test before we go through it, giving us all the answers? It's not much of a test now, is it? So everyone basically just memorized for uh, the answers, and everyone got 100% on it. Uh, big surprise right there. But I we're going to retry this right here, because we didn't get our uh, first place, which I am very disappointed about. I'm very enraged by as well, because we were overtaken at the last minute, which I do not like uh, when it comes to racing games. I hate being overtaken at the last minute and all. But either way, after we finish this race right here, whether we win or lose, I am going to end off the episode because I'm aiming for 20 to 30 minute episode, uh, long episodes. So yeah, we're going to stick with Hammer Slam Bowser and uh, Dive Bomber, like I said for now. But um, in the next episode, I'll definitely be sure to introduce more uh, Skylanders indeed. Even though, like I said, the characters don't really add much to the game because it's just uh, driving with a different character pretty much. If only, like, certain characters gave a certain, like, gave the vehicle certain abilities, but that's not what it is. The only reason why you want to buy a character is if you wanted to make your vehicle slightly better by supercharging it. But either way, we're going to uh, skip this because we've already watched it pretty much. So let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, let's get started on those engines, and uh, hopefully this will go better this time. Off we go with our glorious start indeed. Nice try, Circus. I'm coming through. Yeah, that part is fun. I love jumping up in these uh, water sections. I do indeed. Oh, nice. So the wings, uh, so for wing boot in this game basically just functions as the um, booster uh, for mushroom. I should even say. Now I'm sorry I keep comparing these items to Mario Kart, but if I compare them to Mario Kart, and that gives you guys the best imagery. And I don't want to make it seem like it copied from Mario Kart. It didn't copy from Mario Kart, it just clearly took a lot of inspiration from it, that's all. But then again, it's kind of hard to make a racing game and not to take inspiration from Mario Kart. And it's very hard to make a racing game and not look like you've tried to rip off Mario Kart as well, because, you know, Mario Kart is so popular, so famous and all that. And so, you know, it's just one thing that all racing games do. All racing games that are not realistic, like Gran Turismo or Forza, will be compared to Mario Kart, no matter um, how different they are. Okay, uh, what happened to that person right there? Did I kill them? I hope so. Well, technically I didn't kill I wouldn't have killed them. I would have just um, disabled their vehicle. But still, did I do it? Because that would be awesome. And Darn, I got someone right on my tail right here. That's not cool of them. Not cool at all. Oh, Darn, I jumped over the cake. That's annoying. Oh, nice. Sky and shield. Exactly what I needed right now. Okay, here's that cake that I wanted. So let's head inside here. Hopefully this will turn out for the best. Nice try, fella. 
Let's try indeed. Oh, God, he stole my item. What a jerk. That reminds me of so many uh, times I've been playing Mario Kart. In fact, that also reminds me of a mate I had once. His name was Josh. And he used to come uh, by my house every day after school uh, to play Mario Kart Wii with me. We used to play, like, 32 tracks and stuff. And uh, one time, we got so close. Um, I'm going to... I'll tell you about this in a later episode, I promise you guys. But, um... Either way, it was so glorious and so much fun just playing with him all the time. Like, you'd think it'd get bored, get bored but it didn't, because every time, you know, because my friend was there, something different happened. Whether we were talking about different things, or, like, um, instead of Josh trying to screw me over, I was trying to screw him over instead. Because that was the thing with Josh. He always went out of his way to try and screw me over. Like, um, what he always used to love to do is that when he had triple reds, he always used to stop and wait for me. And then um, he would either let me run into his uh, shield or he would um, hit me with one of the red shells, then uh, purposefully stop, then send his second one out to hit me and then his third one out to hit me. He loved doing that and it screwed me up so much and I hated him for it. Like one time I ended up reversing and he reversed after me and it turns out that we both fell into the lava behind us on the Grumble Volcano. It was hilarious, honestly. I think my ribs about broke that day from uh, laughter. Ah, oh, yes, exactly what I wanted. Double kill. So, yeah, let's be heading underneath that right now. And also collecting this um, energy. So, yeah, these waves are most certainly cool indeed. So, hopefully, we don't get overtaken at the last minute right here, like what uh, this one's trying to do. Okay, guys, my recommendation for you, stay in the water. Oh, you're kidding me. Second place again? Wow. He overtook me at the last second again. So frustrating indeed. But either way, um, we're at 33 minutes. I think we can um, try uh, We can retry it one more time. So do we level up? Hopefully this level up will... Um, in, uh, hopefully this level up will oh no we've got a double level up that's even better so hopefully this level up will uh, give us a better chance in the rerun right here yes i do want to indeed retry on the hard difficulty mist obviously so yeah now let's wait for the loading screen so earlier when i said that that race was going to be the last race of the episode quite clearly i lied uh we are not leaving this episode off on a, uh, on a bad note most certainly not because like i said we are winning every single event in this thing because i want my freestyles all across the board and all that Hammer Slam Bowers, are you ready to um, make up uh, for your past mistakes? Ready to get back at him? I sure hope so. Hopefully, um, you know, third times with Charmin and we actually win this uh, attempt right here. So we're just going to skip this right here. Nice, we got that start up boost nice and easily. Oh darn, I keep on forgetting we need to wait for our energy to uh, fill completely up before we can start attacking. But anyway, I think the mistake I made there was that I went slightly off the water. My recommendation, definitely stay on the water. So yeah, let's see if those upgrades uh, helped us out in the long run. Hopefully they did, and it will be glorious if they did indeed. Because hey, we're currently in the third event, so we can only imagine what will happen when the game actually gets harder. It's going to be awesome, put it like that. So what we got here, the wing boot, awesome, we got the mushroom, we're on drugs yet again, just like uh, Mario would seem. Because in case you guys don't know, uh, all, every mushroom that Mario has is quite clearly drugs, I mean like that's clearly what Nintendo was going for. Okay, I want that cake right there, so guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat it. But man, that's actually some delicious looking cake, I'm going to eat the cake right now. <laughs> this game always makes me hungry purely because, you know... It, it always has food and it actually like makes you want to eat the food because of the health bonuses it has and all of that fun stuff by the way as you guys can see firepower has very clearly increased indeed now why couldn't have this been the last lap on the um like last race right here oh darn we're about to die and it's not glorious i wouldn't mate i wouldn't Okay, we're going to get to that cake right there because, like I said before, I like my cake and all. Oh, my way, this seems like the uh, best route to take, so we're going to take this route from now on. Oh, darn, I missed the cake, though. That's a shame. Yeah, I pretty much went that route for the cake and I missed it, so, you know, huge failure on my behalf. Five way, seems like shark, shark shooter terrapin has been taken out. Revenge for last time, I suppose. Oh, nice, we got a mushroom yet again. Nice, there's Trigabby taking them down and all that. 
and it's even worse like this game really is out there to make you hungry because after you eat the food you see your sky and that's really enjoying it and it makes you want to eat food even more so yeah if you guys are hungry don't play these games because it will make you even worse in terms of your hunger and all that take this people take this nice we took one of them out Okay, it's time for the final lap indeed. So yeah, let's uh, take out this dude right here. Boom, we have taken him out successfully, or should I even say double dare trigger? He's successfully indeed. Nice, that was definitely the best way we could have done that right now. Oh, Sky Iron Shield, exactly what we need right now. And also some cake, because who doesn't need cake and all? I would say easy as cake, but you know, <laughs> clearly it's not because we're playing on hard difficulty and also that's terrible puns, so I'm going to avoid uh, I'm going to avoid using such terrible puns because, you know, who likes terrible puns? Answer nobody, and so that's why I'm not going to do it for you guys. I'm going to save you guys the displeasure of my terrible puns. So yeah, there you go, there's the Tiki Speaker I was talking about earlier, the fact that it goes to all the players in front of you and deals massive amounts of energy, so you could kind of say it's just like the lightning. Food, I want you. Thank you, food, for being so nutritious. Even though a cake is not that nutritious, but we're gonna uh, go with it anyway. These guys always seem to overtake me in this stretch right here. It's annoying. Okay, we're just gonna kill everybody because it seems like that's the best way to go. Be go, 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 go. Yes, nice. We won it. We're victorious, and it is glorious. So it, uh, it would appear that for once, third time is for charm. It seems like this is an anomaly because normally third time is never for charm, especially when it comes to movies, because everyone knows that a third movie in most trilogies tends to be the bad one. So um, anyway, we are indeed uh, we have indeed won this third time's a charm. Like I said, for once, an incredible anomaly, uh, nevertheless. And so let's see uh, how our vehicle uh, will do, or should I even say fair? Oh, we got an acceleration boost. That's great. Awesome, so we're doing great right now, but either way, uh, that it was indeed for the last race, so we're going to quit out of it uh, for now. And, um, once this loading screen finishes, I'm obviously going to sign out, as always. So, either way, this does it for this debut episode. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end, guys. But either way, with all that said and done, um, until the next episode, peace.